Well, there are an estimated 1.1 billion TikTok users worldwide of all ages. And much of the content that you see is harmless, like oh, the yeah. dancing. Sure. Back, I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Yeah. My daughters even did that. Oh, they did do that one? Oh, yeah. Uh, did you do that one? I know no, you're on TikTok. I was tempted. But that's where I got the pull up on me. He's on TikTok. I mean, there's fun stuff. There's a lot of fun stuff. But the problem is, especially with the young people who are on there, there are some challenges that can be incredibly dangerous. So this is a photo of 13-year-old Destiny Crane of oh. Oregon. Her family believes that she caught fire while trying the fire challenge. And if you're thinking, what's the fire challenge? Well, it involves spraying alcohol and then setting it on fire. And she's been in the ICU since May 13th. Oh my God. So we wanted to talk more about social media and TikTok and why some feel compelled to take on challenges like this and also what you should be looking mm -hmm. out for as a parent so that way you can look out for your child. We have child and adolescent family therapist Darby Fox joining us now. Good morning to you. Hi Darby. Good morning. How are you? And I guess that's the thing. At first you're like, oh, that's fine. She wants to dance. If they want to you know, laugh at little videos, what's the harm? Well, I mean, the harm is it's gone so much further than those little videos of dancing and kind of mocking what other people are doing. And I think that we have to remember that people really watching it that are enthralled by TikTok at the young ages don't have a real connection with the reality. They're used to this sort of external world and looking at those things and they can't make a connection or preview what may be the possible risk. Yeah. Well, the reason we want to do this because Kids are going to be on TikTok. We know why. Yep. I mean, they, 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 it, it's a popular thing. It makes them popular. But I think maybe we ought to tell parents ones to look out for. So that burning challenge, if, if you hear anything about the burning challenge, talk to your kids about it. Uh, and then the, the, tell me about the blackout challenge. That's another one we need to get control of. Well, well the blackout challenge is a drinking challenge. And I, I think what's best is there's so many crazy ones. There's the alcohol. Um, there's been, you know, Tide Pods. There's so many crazy ones that it doesn't, you're not going to stay ahead of it if you just tell your kids, don't do this one. Because again, their brain remembers that, but they're like, well, yeah, but you didn't say don't do the blackout challenge. So what we want to do, because we know their brain and a developing brain has more excitatory synopsis in it than it does the ones that inhibit or say mm -hmm. stop think okay. about that so what we want to do is say look don't do these these make a zero sense and really monitor that and and watch their use a little bit check their phones when they're on there say what are you doing what are you looking at and really talk to them in advance about how dangerous it a is. Lot of kids show them listen. the 13 year old okay my mom and dad tell me not to do it so i'm not going to do it i mean it, right they're going to do it no but show them show them the danger okay. um, that's because uh, you're not going to really be able to keep them off it they they find a million ways to go around that so, so by showing them the danger what would that look like is that like showing them pictures of the 13 year old we just mentioned absolutely yeah. absolutely yes is there any way where you could control their accounts on their phone? Right, you can, you can and, you, and you can definitely, with younger age adolescents, you definitely should. But, um, you know, I had a client last week who went on and got a, an account that her parents didn't know about and posted something um, that somebody else turned over to a school and she got in quite a bit of trouble with the school uh, for po posting inappropriate things. So it's hard to, you're not going to keep up with that game. And instead of taking a punitive response, lead with, okay, this is not okay. And you're going to lose your phone if anything like this happens. And you really do have to monitor it. And then again, if they're not ready for that, um, you you take it from them. It's, it's not a given. Sometimes people think it's a right because young kids all have phones or smartphones now. It's not your right. If you don't know how to use it, you don't let them do it. Right. Yeah. Are there parental controls or something on, on TikTok or filters you can do? Or is it really you just have to be on and, and look at what they're looking at? You have to be on and look at what they're looking at because, again, they're much more savvy than we are. Like they can go around it many ways. There are ways like with something like 
uh, Instagram, you can find a way to see what other accounts they may have. There's usually kids have multiple accounts, not just one. So I, I think parents to have up. to educate themselves before they think about how can I monitor my child? Yeah. Okay. I know a lot of parents who are on the platforms with their kids. That way they can at least be That's, seeing what's popular and seeing what's going on so they know to talk about it. You've got to exactly. educate yourself about this, you know, as a parent. I mean, most it's parents, tedious. I would say, of especially young adolescents are like, oh, TikTok's harmless. TikTok is a lot of fun dancing videos. They have no idea about these challenges. And, and the challenges originally started with some you know, so very good causes to like the water bucket challenge to raise money for certain um, sure. illnesses yeah. and things like that. Yeah. And so parents exactly need to have some awareness of what's going on. Yeah, it's, it's not benign, that's for sure. No. Uh, thanks, Darby Fox. Thank you. Thank you. Come